Hi, this is Becky with Icing on Top Becky's Cakes, and today we're gonna make candied lemons. I'm gonna add one cup of water and one cup of sugar. Makes it really easy. Then I'm gonna squeeze in uh, half a lemon, basically like a tablespoon or two of lemon juice right into that. And I'm gonna turn it on high, and then I'm just gonna let that cook until it boils, and then I'll turn it down to a medium low. Now just mix those together and let that boil. And while I'm waiting for that to boil, I can start slicing my lemons. Now you wanna make sure you scrub these really well because this is what you're gonna eat the whole thing. So we're gonna thinly slice them. And then um, after we thinly slice them, we will remove the seeds and they'll be ready to put right into our sugar water. Now that we have them sliced, we want to remove all those pesky little seeds from the inside. That one didn't have any. So anytime you see those little seeds, just kind of dig them out with your blade and then just set it to the side. Now I've turned down my sugar water to medium low and I'm just going to place all of my lemons straight in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook them on medium low for about 15 minutes, and then we're gonna flip them over and cook them another 15 minutes on medium low. Okay, now they've been cooking for 15 minutes, so we're gonna flip them all over. And uh, I'm just gonna use my spatula, because that's what I have on hand. Probably the better bet would have been to use tongs because that would have been a little smoother with the flip. But uh, either works and I just use what I had on hand today, so bear with me here. See that I missed a couple seeds, but that's okay. After we're done with this process, I will just simply take those out before they harden a little bit. And once we get those all flipped, we'll give them another 15 minutes and then come back and check on them. And while that uh, cooks a little longer. We're gonna get a piece of parchment or wax paper and put it on a cookie sheet or something So we have somewhere to put them all So here they are in their done state I was taking them and sticking them right on that parchment that I told you about and Now the part that takes longer with this The first part really gives you to do very simple steps this is simple too, you just have to wait. <laughs> Once you put them on here, you'll probably have to wait till they're completely cooled, maybe three hours, maybe less, depending on how eager you are to get into these. But yeah, you're gonna let them cool, and then uh, you can either put them on a cake as a topping on a, on a cake, or you just eat them like candy, because they are so yummy. And so if you wanna see my buttercream frosting recipe, which goes amazing with this, you can check it out on my channel. Thank you.